In this session, I'm going to have a look at the iPad app and how you can use that to do things like doing fallback mixes or controlling the main mix. Again, this is not going to be an exhaustive look at all the things you can do with it, but it'll give you an idea of the basics at least and how to navigate around it. So I've set the desk up already and I've loaded the scene and I'm all ready to go. Um, and now I want to do use the iPad to go and do fallback mixes. So um, I get the iPad out, I've unlocked it and I need to run the SQ Mixpad app, which is this one here. So I tap on that and that should come up. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but it should come up and you'll see St. James SQ6 on there. So you connect to that and it'll give you the same login as you would get on the desk when you start up. So again, you choose who you're going to log in as, put in your password, and if you tap the remember me option, then it will hopefully not lead to login quite so many times when you're using it. So and do that. And you'll get this display to start with. And the layout of it is very similar to the desk. So once you've looked at it a little bit, you should find it's fairly familiar. Um, you've got the screen area at the top. So that's like the screen on the, uh, the main desk itself. Uh, down the left hand side, you've got some menus. These like the channel options. So you've got your preamp section, EQ, compression, depending on what you've got selected. On the right hand side, these are like the mix buttons on the desk. So you've got main, then you've got things like your auxes here. So you can pick from those. Across the bottom are the channels. So the channels that you see will depend on what you've currently got selected. And the bottom left are how you pick what channels you're currently selected. So by default, it will show you channels one through to 24. Um, you can scroll left and right on this so you can see different ones but it's given me everything and actually it's kind of quite a few confusing so the usually what I would do is go and change it so that I can see the same layout as I've got on the desk so I'll choose custom and select one of the custom ones and go to setup and tap on this copy desk layer and that then gives me which one so it's a because that's the layer I'm looking at tap on that and that will basically give me the same set of channels here as I've got on the desk. So I've got keys, vocals, vocal two, three, four, guitar and keyboard. So that's now exactly the same as I've got on my desk. And I've even got the DCAs that I can see there. So they are the same. So on each channel, I can see them. I can mute and unmute them. I can control the level. And I can make a selection there and say, right, I'm gonna have a look at that one. And as when I select the channel, the same as when you press select, if I'm in the processing section on the on the iPad, which is what I've got currently selected at the top, then I see the processing. There's no summary in the same way as you get on the desk. You go straight into the detail for that channel. Um, but I can, for instance, go and look at the EQ for the keyboard or the guitar or the vocals. I can go through those and select them. I can then make changes to those, of course. So if I, um, I've currently got the keyboard, channel selected on the desk, so you can see that on there. It shows you the same one here. If I make changes on here, I can drag it with my finger, then you can see the same changes on there. Uh, if you make, if you want more control, then there's a little button in the middle, drag it downwards, like so. Then I'm seeing on here the same information that I get on the main desk. So there I can see a bit more detail about things. It's still tap and hold, so I'd still need to for instance, if I want to change the frequency on that section, I tap there and I can slide it left and right. I can change the, the um, gain by tapping and sliding. It's a little bit less fine control than you have on the desk itself, where obviously you've got the rotaries and, and the ability to move a little bit more finer control. But you've still got the same information. So that gives you the same access to that. So again, I could pick a different channel, so and I'll pick guitar. If I pick guitar on here, I can still see the channel ones, even though I've expanded it, so I can tap on that. Then that's now showing me the guitar one, and I can make change to that and see that reflect on the desk in the same way. So that's quite useful. I've got the same control there. Now, the main reason I'd want to do this is so I could use fallback, for instance. So while the desk is currently looking at the front of the house mix, for instance, I take the iPad and I can go and talk to musicians and I could go and adjust the fallback. So to do that, I need to select which fallback channel I want to look at. So, hours are one, two, three, four, as usual. So if I pick aux one on there, if I just span that back up so you can see the faders. If I pick the same mix on the desk, just so that you can see it for 
information purposes. I've now got, and it's colored blue, so you can tell it's a different, it's, a, it's a, an aux one rather than the main. I can now adjust the fold back mix by going up, talking to the musicians, making adjustments, and listening to it if I need to. By, I can actually hear it if I'm standing by it. So I can do that for each of those. I can go through each of those quite easily. Go to two, make change to that. Three, make change to that. Put a guitar in that, for instance. There we go, see it. So you can make changes then to the, each of the fold back mixes by just going through those. And when I'm done, go back to main. And then I can control that if I need to and have a wander around and have a listen. You've got access to most of the same things on here that you have on the desk. So there's really not a lot of limit to what you can do on the iPad compared to the desk. Um, it's just what you decide to do with it really. Um, but that's the basic way around it and that'll give you an idea of how to get up and running with it.